Hello, everybody. I am the one known as the Eternal Bucket, and this is Clash Royale. And this is going to be part of a segment. I'm probably going to clip this all together in one nice little section called Mobile Games That Are Actually Good. And I know that's weird for me to start on Supercell's Clash Royale. We all know Supercell is a dev team, three different dev, four different dev teams actually, one working on Brawl Stars, one working on Clash of Clans, one working on Boom Beach, and one working on Clash Royale. They're all pay to win games, every single one of them. Now that being said, I want to say that this game has some of the best gameplay that I have ever had. It's like Brawl Stars. It's actually an amazing game with very fun and involved gameplay. You gotta know what you're doing, you get to learn it, it takes the time to figure it out, and now that I've said that, I'm gonna go play a couple game modes, right? We're gonna go play 2v2s first, because I'm an OG from playing Clash Royale back when it came out, and 2v2s was the way, right? Because the way this game works is you have this ladder, right? The higher up this ladder you go, the higher level cards the players that you're playing against are gonna have, typically. Because that's how Supercell does their games. The, the higher up in the ranks you go, the higher level the stuff you have. So the problem that it is now, that they didn't have back in the future, is that it's really, really hard to progress now. Because you end up getting so far ahead in the ladder that you end up fighting kids with ca cards that are higher level than yours. And unlike Clash of Clans, it's not a good way to go down. There's no way to trophy smurf in this game. And I say that because you actually kind of have to keep yourself at low trophies. Because back in the day, you used to be able to get chests from doing 2v2s, and that didn't affect your ladder progress. You used to be able to sit there at whatever tier you were and work your way up and get high-level cards without ever having to go up the ladder. And Supercell didn't like that, so they removed that system and put in place this system, which I think is absolutely ludicrous. I have to get 10 days to get this, but now I'm not going to bitch. Oh, I see why the recording stopped. It's because I accidentally touched the button. No, it's, and I'm not, I'm not going to bitch. Okay, I'm not going to bitch. I'm not the dev team. I do say, however, that if I was in charge of the dev team, that this game would do uh, 100% better. People would enjoy it a lot more. Because I well, because everything that the player base has said were things that I thought we should do. You know, like remove the card level system and make it strictly about competitive gameplay. Start giving us unique skins and unique customizations for all the units and stuff like that. And that's what Clash Royale is like. I'm at the high level part of this game, not like the professional ranked gameplay, but I am at the high level side of this thing where people are good and they will catch you laughing. Like Baby Dragon's good. Okay, but these guys fucked up. Let's be honest. Baby Dragon's good, you just you gotta use it right. He used to be like one of my favorite cards, actually. The baby Dragon is comments saying, what the fuck are you using, bro? <laughs> i tell you what, it works every time. Um, maybe not against a competitive sweat, not sweat, sorry, you guys aren't sweaty for being good, right? This is my deck that I use mainly, it's not, I don't just play 2v2s, I used to. Back in the day, the only thing I would play was 2v2s because I used it to get these chests here. These are the chests that I'm talking about. It used to be the ladder, and then you'd click this, and it would pop up a game mode list of like the special game modes that came up in 2v2s. Now I think that is the biggest mistake that Clash Royale ever made was taking 2v2s and putting it over here. What I always thought is that you should have 2v2 with its own ladder so that if I play it I advance and run into the same issue that you'd, you'd still have the same balancing effect is that it wouldn't just be card averages playing against card averages it would be rank against rank and I think that would be a much better system. You know have the same rewards, so if you advance in this one, you collect, say, say you collect the next three rewards and you go to play 2v2, these would be X'd out because you already got them. But that's what I think. So I just think that it would, um, I think it would promote a very good amount of gameplay, especially to have a ranked 2v2 scene. I think that needs to happen. That's why they need to bring back the old school 2v2 system and that imply, imply is what I meant, no. 
No. I don't even know what I'm saying, but they need to have a rank 2v2 game mode because that would promote a lot of good, healthy gameplay for the game. It would give a lot of players like me an opportunity to both make progress and have fun playing the game. That being said, we're going to play another 2v2. And then I'm going to go play a couple 1v1s, and I'm then that's probably what we're going to call it. I might play one of the special game modes, even though I hate Mirror Mirror. You'll get to see how bad I am in, at this game in actuality when I play Mirror Mirror. Uh, but it's, it's all good. And I know it's weird that I started off talking about good mobile games with Clash Royale, but it's because I have a bias for this game. It's absolutely amazing. It's super fun, super engaging. You got a bunch of different unique and fun little tower skins and all that stuff. Yeah, fuck that. I hate that. Yeah. I hate that. Good. That girl's easy. She's fine. She's easy. Yeah. Yeah, teammate knows. Fuck that bitch, too. <laughs> uh, you can yawn all you want, buddy. I'm gonna make you waste some elixir right quick. Out of my so his teammate. so much as a tech. I don't give a fuck. Slap a cat. I don't give a shit. Not hard, guys. I didn't actually hit the cat. I just patted her and she didn't like it, you know? Because cats. Oh, shit. I don't think you guys quite understand the whole... Oh, I tried to fucking shit. They got a goblin there on me. It's okay. I was just like, it's not the same like these guys. I got it. Fuck that stupid ass goblin now. <laughs> Yikes. See, I'm gonna be honest. I don't think that she needs a legendary form. That's what her crazy is. Put it down, put it down, put it down, put it down, yes, 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 put the millions on that. What's it called when the two people in the middle, like you got, you're, you're in a foursome. The two people are on their hands and knees in the middle, kind of like doggy style almost, and they're kissing. Wouldn't that be like, I don't know what that would be called. I'd call it like a dick connection, you know, like a long range dick connection. Cause you know, you're creating two tubes with which, I don't know, I don't know. I understand, I am not a child, not a family friendly fucking YouTube content creator, okay? I promise I'm not. But we're gonna go do some 1v1s now to show you that I am not good at this game. Those guys were just bad, okay? That's what it boils down to. Those guys were just bad. Now, my deck is good. It's not like my deck sucks. It's just I make a lot of mistakes that would prevent me from being one of the best players in the game. I fucking hate you. Yeah. I really love you. 14 on top of it. Yeah, I resent that shit. But this bitch here. Sorry, this witch. Which is my girl, by the way. Magic! Yes. 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 Feed into my chaos, please. Yes! Feed into me, you lose. Sorry, buddy, I never really make that mistake, and this girl has all 14 cards, which is 
one of those things is like the level difference here could totally be the reason I lose. Like if he just played his cards right also. I made a huge mistake. I made a huge mistake. I made a huge mistake. Please look. Yes! It's working so well. Why is my deck working this well in a 1v1? It's not supposed to. Watch like in the comments, people are like, bro, I don't know, you're talking shit on your deck, but it's fucking crazy. Like, what is that shit? No one would have ever thought of that. But then it's like, that's just me being a narcissist. Everyone would have thought of this deck because it's like, yeah, it's obvious. The Skeleton King, the Witch, the things that create, like, infinite skeletons. Magic. Oh, yeah, you really, what's funny here? This dude's gonna think he's gonna combo this Witch. He's gonna think I'm gonna do it again. Snap that hoe down. Snap that hoe down. Nice. I just got hit. See, 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 I'm not that good. I make mistakes in one of these. That was good. I could have put the minions down. Probably should have. So, yeah, we're gonna bamboozle him again. Yep. Observe, observe. Not this guy. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. We want the witch gone. It's okay. It's okay. Watch this. Watch this. Bang. 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 Attribute that to the reason I lost. I should have beat this kid, but literally, the fact that I have no chances against kids like that, it, it does kind of bother me, which is why Supercell dev team who's working on Clash Royale needs to fucking do better. And now that I'm done being salty, I'm gonna rewatch this. Oh, hold on, no, don't rewatch it. You can just see what level their cards are. Um, I just wanted to see what level his cards were because if they're all level 14, that's ridiculous. Like, what, what conceivable way? And how am I supposed to beat that? It's a question. Okay, so it was, okay, so it was all, only one, two, three, four, five, six of them. Six of his eight cards were level 14, and Supercell expects me to be able to stand a chance against that by myself. And now, that's just what I'm saying. I'm just saying that's ridiculous. And that's why I don't like 1v1s, because it is 150% down to two things, skill and level. Skill and level. And if you fucking, if you get out skilled, whatever, but if it's out level, there's literally nothing you can do. Goblin Barrel. See, that's okay. I hate the Goblin Barrel. I think it's for no-brained idiots who don't actually... They have to... They end up relying on the Goblin Barrel or the Hog Rider, and I think that's a little bit stupid. But it's all good. Because... Which still feels good. 
1400 on you. Got that 1400, you see. Yeah. My deck is a cycle deck, though. I wish you were caught in the room. When they throw it at stupid times like that, it's like, let's give them a reason to rocket cycle right quick. I rock on the rocket cycle. Because I'm gonna. Wait, like, you're not gonna do it? Oh shit, okay. That's why you don't rocket cycle against a player like me, because I will purposefully put my witch down so you'll cycle it. So up 10 elixir, throw the witch down. Wait, he's gonna rocket cycle. Valkyrie Skeleton King. Valkyrie Skeleton King. Valkyrie, if you have one tower destroyed, put the Valkyrie in that middle spot that can hit both the ca castle tower and the archer tower. Skeleton King in the corner, so he'll walk straight up to that bitch. And it makes it to where if they don't do anything, they they can't, but they have to waste their elixir. We're both technically at zero at that point, and it resets the battle. I have the strategy. I have the plots. I have the plans. But what it boils down to is the fact that my deck just isn't good enough in certain scenarios. There are decks that hard counter your shit, which is fine. Like, it's just the way games like this work. Like, you could have the perfect deck against half the decks in the game, but there is another deck out there that is a hard counter to use. But we're going to do this. I'm going to stop at 20 minutes because my tablet that I'm playing on does not have a lot of battery. This dude's going to win, though. I guarantee it. I'm not good at this shit. Let's see what he's see, 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 see if he's about it, you know? is better than all of the fucking gotcha cards because it can just go in and slap whatever you want. Dude loses. Dude's losing this tower. Ah. The boss goes away and it's bad. Sorry. Goblins! I fucking love the goblins. They're so good. <laughs> okay, what do we do? What are you? These guys are gonna come. Let's do this. Oh, oh shit. Okay, okay. Very nice, very nice, very nice indeed, actually. If you keep the shots like that up this whole time, you'll be fine, dude. Bigger the straps for the goblins to get just a couple of seconds of damage. And you just worry about the wrong thing, buddy. It's called an ultimatum push, bro. You gotta choose one. And you never choose the right one. They never choose the right one. That's a goblin guy. Goblin guy kinda crazy with that fucking. Yeah, the bigger they do a lot of damage. We'll put this here. Get him over here. Yep, it's fine. We'll put him over here. Oh, he's got that one set up here. So what I'll do is that. I'll do this and that. Bang, bang. Dead. Wait for it, wait for it. Yeah. Let's see what I'm going to do. Ready? This is what the ultimate I'm pushing on about. Leave it alone. Do something about it. Do something about it. Do something about it. Do something about it. Do something about it.
almost got it. But I mean, he wouldn't have won anyway. He wouldn't have won anyways. Okay, I should say hey, but in any case, so this is a great game. I do suggest everybody gets it and at least tries it. Don't put any money into it, though. Don't give the dev team for this game any money, because if they're... They're not listening to their player basis is really what it boils down to. And I just wanted to say to make this video to say that like, okay, Supercell, bring 2v2s back over here. You know, keep this the way it is. I actually really like this system. Increase to 10,000, make it to where you get at max 100 points per game. So it would take about 100 games to get to the max cap. Make it a really slow grind, okay? Or make the max cap like 2,000 and be able to buy it. See, they want you really desperately want you to spend money on this game, see? Yeah, here, spend 50 gems to double it, give it a thousand, you know, and they really want you to do stuff like that. And I think that this game is focusing far too much on how much money they can make based on the grind, the supercell grind, and less on actually making a fun and enjoyable game. Because this game is very fun and very enjoyable. You've made the game plays, the mechanics, the, it's just a fun and fun game to sit down and, and dick around with, right? You know, and I like that they have this battle pass, you know, that's a great way for them to make money. And I understand that they would probably never get rid of the card level system, and that's fine. And realistically, that, that, that I like the card level system, because it is it's a progress move. You know, you can see how fast you are based on the cards that you got. It's a progress meter. It's really good. And I just, I just think that the game could be a little more edged towards promoting process. Pro sorry, edged more towards promoting progress than edged towards denying it. Because it seems like, right, okay, so like, here, I'll show you the difference. This is my big boy base. This is my big boy thing. This is my big boy account. Like, if I would have, I deleted Clash Royale a while ago. If I would have kept playing it, I probably would have a level 14 deck right now. What is this? Just a classic 1v1. Why? Oh, so you can play 1v1s without having to worry about fucking your ladder progress up. Okay. But yeah, okay, so we'll, I'll show you the difference here. I have two accounts in this game. Because I'm like that. I also used to have two accounts in my Clash of Clans, but I deleted Clash of Clans because the problem with Clash of Clans is that it is getting too big. They're adding another town hall, and it's just like the gap from which you have, like, yeah, the gap from one to max is so large. It's like if you don't put money into it and don't put gems into it, you're, you're gonna be playing Clash of Clans for the next, like, two decades, you know? And, like, I have been playing for the last, like, three months, and I've been diligently checking it. Nice. I've been diligently checking Clash of Clans for the last three months, and I am no closer to being Town Hall 13 than I was when I started. And admittedly, I rushed from 11 to 13, but I just... I just don't think Clash of Clans promotes a, a good level of progress. What the fuck is 85 gold? Oh, wait, I'm not in my big accounts. Like, I need 75,000 to upgrade my card once. What the fuck? I forgot. But yeah. Nice. Nice. <laughs> but yeah. No, that's really my thing about Clash of Clans. Is that, like, I'm never going to get to see in-game content, because by the time I get to 17, it'll probably be up to Town Hall 20. And to me, that's just, um, that's debilitating. It's just something that's daunting, actually. Like, I like a daunting task, but I, I don't like it to take literal years to complete, right? And that's what I think Clash Royale should have avoided, is, is that it takes, a, not years, of course, but it takes a long-ass time to get from zero to max, you know? And I just think that there's a better system. And I think that this, the dev team, I, I just personally think the dev team's too worried about money. So we'll sign off with the game, this kid that I'm playing against now. Tiger, I'm sorry. I am coming in with the wrath of God. You do not stand a chance. I know that you don't have all the, I, I know what your decks are capable of, is what I'm saying. I know everything that you could possibly throw at me. You guys don't have the goblin barrel yet, so. My bad. I don't even we'll see if this guy can even handle splitting. Right? Nope. I don't even think he's trying, to be honest. Dude. That was nice. But he doesn't know how to play yet, which is unfortunate. I kind of feel like a holy. I, I got it. I started a new account on this game. I haven't lost once. The only one I've lost. Alright, you see my bar there, but that's on purpose. I'm, I'm not. Oh! 
Oh, thank God. Uh, no, I have lost. Okay, I gotta take that back. I have lost. But it's only good because I wanna keep my trophies low for now. I wanna I wanna get my cards a little ahead of the game. Oh, so you should have done that. Shit, 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 lag! Lag! Why lag? I'm so gonna be pissed. Oh, yeah, I'm sorry, but I'm gonna take a <laughs> That's what I said the first time, too. Like, so I started the first game I won, and then I started by doing that. I started the first game I played, and I did that. I was like, I'm sorry, bro. This is not your fault. This all comes from fucking playing with the sweats that I used to play with when I first... Because I re-downloaded this game and started a new account on accident. I was like, fuck it. I could probably progress in this game with two accounts better than the Clash of Clans one. So what he's not ready for is that. None of the kids understand that. I like to this and this. Giant never touches the tower. Hey, that's unfortunate, isn't it? Watch this. Bang. Sorry, bro. But I hope this guy's learning. I hope he's not just getting mad. I hope he's learning strategies. He's not just getting upset. With you. This guy's fucking sweaty. What the fuck is this? Like, it's not that I'm sweaty, I promise. Right? That's, it's not, this is not Apex. This is not hot. It's not that I'm sweaty, alright? What's happening is... I know how the in-depth mechanics in this game work. I know how unit aggro works. I know how to kite units across the map. I know all of those things, and these guys don't. So is it very, very unfair that I'm playing a game like this? Yes, it is very unfair that I started a, a game over. But Supercell wants me to have multiple accounts because they literally give you a switch button right there. But like, and I don't care if people see my account name, it's like, I don't have money attached to my fucking mobile devices. I've never once put money on my mobile devices, so it's like, I don't know, I just don't see anything bad happening. Like, I could probably get a million friend requests, but my clan is here. In fact, I'll let you guys even see my clan, it's private. You can try to join all you want, but you won't get an accept. See, in fact, we're gonna, hold on. Oh wait, hold on, I'm an idiot. I can't do that on that account, because that's my little account that has not been graced with co-leadership yet. But yeah, no, I think this is a great game, and I think that it is now that they've changed it the way it is, it might actually end up working better for the low-level players, but what the newest updates did is, in my personal opinion, it really screwed us high-level players up, and it, like, it stunted progress, because when I saw that they released that, they released another card level that I have to work for, legendary cards that I don't, what it, all it did was make it harder to beat someone who's higher level than you, like, if you don't have a legendary card, it very well could be the reason that you fucking lose, right, and I think that's asinine right and that's what like that kid with level 14 cards i lost because he outplayed me he figured out what my deck was doing and won but his card you cannot say that card level did not help him at all there let's we'll see i'll make my big blunt gang we we'll make it invite only yeah we'll make it invite only i want to see if, if say this video got a thousand views i want to see 600 people so let's see let's see Let's see, let's make this officially not, not family friendly. Can I type? Smoke dope. Smoke. Smoke them all. Smoke dope. Smoke them all. But uh, smoke them. I want. I meant to say smoke them. Like smoke. E M. Like smock. M. Smock. M. All oh, smoke. Smoke dope, smoke them all. Hell yeah, brother. <laughs> ah, yeah, I'm a family-friendly YouTube content creator, of course. Yeah, yeah, we're not talking about smoking weed. Big Blunt Gang? Uh, yeah, Big Blunt Gang has got three members. Tokens joking does not exist. But pop by 9,000, pop by 9,001. If you ever see these guys in the game and I win, just know that I did that shit on purpose. Yes, sir, I did. And uh, in any case, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, if you like this video and you would like to see more, you know, do all that YouTube stuff. Like, comment, tell me what you think. If you think my deck's stupid, you think I'm a really bad player, you think I'm the best player you've ever seen, you think that I shouldn't ever do a video like this again, use your power as a YouTube commenter slash viewer to tell me so. That being said, everybody have a nice day, and the next game I'm going to play will be Soul Knight, because that's a mobile game that has no pay to win, and that game is wholesome as fuck, boy. We're going to have a great time. Realistically now, I'm just going to sit here and waste time. I'm not going to actually say goodbye and stop the video until exactly 30 minutes. I want this to be exactly 30 minutes long.
So I gotta watch it. It's getting to 29, 30, 39, 29, 39. So I got 20 seconds here. So what can I fill the time with 20 seconds here? Oh yeah, Supercell, bring my 2v2s back here. Let me get chests with my 2v2s. I really miss that shit. I like playing 2v2s. I think it's more fun than 1v1s. I want it back here. Let me get my rewards. Make this game rewarding and not punishing, please. Have a good day, everybody.